Hello everyone, welcome back to the tea land. So today we're talking about Tana Mojo. Tana Mojo just posted a video on YouTube and it says the truth about everything, the wedding, Jake, Alyssa, Erica, MTV, mental health, drugs, etc. And she posted this on December 29th and in this 40 minute video, Tana addresses a lot of things. And it seems like this video was mainly about Jake. These are some of the things she said in the video. I am unable to put any clips of Tana's video in my video because in the past I have received multiple copyright claims on my video whenever there was a clip of Tana in it. So I am just going to read out some quotes from her video. So Tana said, this year is coming to a close and I am just not happy. I'm so unhappy with the way my relationship with Jake looks in the public eye and I've done so much pretending that I don't care what I do. So it's my fault. I love Jake so much, I still do, but I did so much of being the cool girl and not caring because I wanted to do life with this person and I wanted to see them happy and thrive and I wanted to show them that there are people that will accept you for who you are. I think I put so much of myself into Jake that I lost myself and that's not his fault and I'm not blaming him for that, it's just the reality, I don't regret it. The second I walked into Jake Paul's world, there was no taking me out. I was so consumed and I wish we would have relished in that time so much longer. Long talks and hooking up and no one knowing. It was just so simple and amazing. Okay, so it seems like Tana and Jake have were hooking up for a while. Before they officially announced that they were in a relationship. She also went on to say that Jake's influence is a drug. Adding that, I loved the time I spent with Jake so much and who I felt like he was making me. I loved who I was when I was with him so much that I kind of put on a rose-colored glasses. I realized that I would do anything to feel this feeling forever. She also talked about her wedding that happened this summer. She said everyone thought it was for clout and fame and I think that it made it so much worse for me mentally. If anything, I would be so much smarter than it was. If the wedding was fake to me in my head, I would be in so much less pain. Okay, so it seems like their wedding was actually real, which I didn't believe it. But if she is saying she's in so much pain, then I guess it was. The second that Jake and I got married, I just feel like everything changed. I think the second he said I do to me, he was like, now what? I I think he was also over it. I don't blame him, but it left me clinging, trying to make this work. I feel like an open relationship with Jake was him being able to have sex with a new B every night, which I am not blaming him. I was the one green light in everything because I just wanted to make him happy and letting it kill me inside. You can only let something kill you for so long until it's actually going to effing kill you. I always wanted to be close with Jake no matter what. I shared one of my craziest times of my life with this person and we were a team. He made me feel some of the best feelings I've ever felt just as a person but also some of the worst. I feel I should have far more transparent with him and myself and the world but I just couldn't. Jake could have effing killed my whole family and I will always love him. I will always have a bond with him that I don't ever see myself having with anyone else. Wow, that was the part that shocked me the most. Because Jake can kill your family and you would love him? How could you love anyone that would hurt the people you love? I just don't understand that. But it seems like as we... In the video, it just seemed like she talked about Jake for a long amount of time. It seemed like the whole video was just about Jake and their relationship. And I can tell that she is deeply in love with Jake. And to be honest, looking at the relationship from the outside, it doesn't look like Jake has these, the same strong feelings Hannah has for him. And I don't know if he ever will. I mean, to, it seems like to him, it may have been not as real as it is to Tana. So, I hope that she gets over this. I mean, we've all been in love at one point. Maybe we've loved someone that loved us back, but some of us have been in love with someone that didn't feel the same way as we did. And I'm hoping that in 2020, she can see this if 
and if this love isn't reciprocated to her i hope that she will be strong enough to get up and leave let me know what you guys think down below don't forget to comment and subscribe